four days four days um, this is Michael Box of X welcome to another video um, and yeah we are four days away from the launch of Xbox One X um, the most powerful gaming console um, ever manufactured by a, a console developer um, and we're four days away um, before I go any further I just want to give a quick shout out to um, the guys at Project Xbox, um, the DX Mansion, um, Eroc X, Welsh Gamer, and all the guys on the Micropod. Um, we are all as excited as each other. Um, all of the groups, all of the buzz, it's all Xbox One X. Um, the reviews are dropping um, as I speak, that more and more are dropping. Um, they've all been extremely positive. Um, there, I've not seen one review that has turned around and said uh, that the console does not deliver what Microsoft said that they would deliver and you know I mean at the end of the day Microsoft were very open about the Xbox One X they said that it was going to be for a niche market it's not going to be for everybody um, but they have delivered on every single promise for this console uh, the raw power the raw performance the visuals uh, the, the visual fidelity 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 on this console is amazing and um, and it's there to be seen and the reviewers are admitting that it is doing exactly what it said um, it does exactly what it says on the tin <laughs> it's just like Ron seal um, and they have they you know Microsoft have not over promised on this console they told you exactly where they were going with this you know you needed a 4k um, TV to get the full advantage of the 4k visuals that this console is capable of doing um, and they haven't hidden that fact but you don't need a 4k uh, TV to you know have an advantage with this console it it is more powerful um, it uh, downgrades the the graphics from 4k to a 1080p uh, monitor so you're still getting a high visual quality a higher visual quality than you would on the standard Xbox one s this is something that um, some of the reviewers have um, seem to sort of not cover. They do say in uh, some of the reviews I've read, you know, if you haven't uh, got a 4K TV, then this isn't the console for you. That's not the case. Um, if you want more power, if you want your games to run smoother at a high resolution and uh, with a better graphical fatality, um, you know, a uh, higher um, sort of detail on uh, textures then you will still see that on a, a 1080p monitor running on Xbox One X you will still see a difference but you know as they say you do need a 4k TV to take full advantage and that seems to be the case with many of the guys that I've spoken to and um, that have uh, got Xbox One X's on order um, they've all bought 4k TVs specifically for this or they had 4k TVs beforehand so um, you know this is this is uh, this is big. This is going to be very big for Microsoft. It's going to be very big for us. Um, I mean, the, the 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 biggest thing I've seen from all the reviews is that they've been all been positive, but they keep banging about the lack of games and the lack of games at launch. Um, you know, I mean, I've got games dropping now that are updating to X. I mean, I've got what well, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got eight sat on my dash at the moment. Um, Enhanced for Xbox One. They've said that there'll be 70 by the time the console launches on Tuesday, um, and there's 150, 160, 170 um, games in total as it stands at the moment um, that are going to have Xbox One X enhanced features, and that's incredible um, for a console that's just launched. I mean, you're not seeing that. I'm, I'm making a point of not going down the uh, the Sony. PlayStation route in this video. I want to stay well clear of it, but when you compare the two launches, they're massively different. Um, the amount of enhanced games of coming to Xbox One X and will be available on launch day um, is incredible uh, and massively overshadows the um, the PlayStation Pro of this time. I mean, uh, they're severely lacking on enhanced titles, uh, and the Xbox One. Um, is really showing them how it should have been done. I mean, as it stands at the moment on my Xbox One, I've got updates uh, downloaded, so enhanced versions of the game ready and waiting on my hard drive for Formula One 2017, which dropped this morning, Gears of War 4, Halo 3, Halo 5, Oblivion, Quantum Break. Uh, Quantum Break's update was massive. I mean, what that's going to do to the game, I don't know. It was 94 gigabytes 
um, for the enhanced version of that game. Um, Super Lucky's Tales ready for launch on Tuesday, which I'm really looking forward to playing, and Titanfall 2. So all of these games are the ones that I want to play. I'm desperate to play um, Super Lucky's Tale. I want to see Quantum Break in H, uh, you know, in the uh, 4K. Formula 1 27, I'm very excited to see that because I've seen previews of this game on 4K and they've said that this game really, really stands out with these 4K visuals. So I'm really looking forward to playing that. Um, there's some gameplay I've got actually going now at the moment for that game. Um, I, I love my Formula 1. Um, so, you know, there you go. And, and as I said earlier, Microsoft haven't, you know, they haven't oversold this. They've told you from day one that this console is not for everybody uh, and this is more for the hardcore gamer one um, review actually said it was for lazy PC gamers I'm sure PC gamers are not going to like that very much I think the biggest thing that I've noticed actually on the uh, reviews for uh, the, the dropping on YouTube and, and on the different forums and and uh, web pages the biggest thing I've noticed is the comment section because as positive as the reviews are you know all the comments seem to be from um, really salty um, Sony gamers and PC gamers uh, and it just seems unbelievable that these guys are coming in uh, to just drop crap in the comment section about a console that apparently they've got no interest in um, and I think they seem to waste a lot more energy um, hating on something that they you know that they obviously don't like than they do actually loving the console that they love so um, you know there seems to be a lot more um, trolling and hating going on than there does gaming these days and it's a shame uh, at the end of the day, we're all gamers, and um, you know, I mean, as I said many times, I mean, they've been beating this power drum for so long, um, and now Xbox is delivering the power um, that so many gamers apparently wanted, um, and they're still getting hate from it, uh, or hate for it from certain gaming areas. Um, personally, though, as I said, really excited for this launch. I'm more excited for this launch than I was the original Xbox One launch. I mean, there was a lot of bad uh, press and a, a real bad taste left in people's mouths after um, the original Xbox One launch um, due to a, a very poor E3 and the way that it was uh, foreseen and the way it was um, advertised um, and the way that Microsoft presented it and then obviously then the way that um, Sony uh, redid their press conference to sort of uh, make Microsoft's press conference look even worse for gamers when we know, all know it wasn't. I mean, the things that Microsoft were on about at that time were really good and they would have been really good for us. Um, but there you go, that's the way it goes. Uh, a new era, Xbox One X in four days. Um, I'm really, really excited for this launch. I can't wait to get hold of mine. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on my Amazon um, account to see when that drops <laughs> when they're sending it out. Um, I believe there will be a Dragon X in the next seven days. We are looking at, we're just trying to organise a date for the next Dragon X and there will be a Micropod um, shortly after the uh, launch of the um, Xbox One X as well, possibly. Uh, I think we were looking around about the second weekend after release, but we'll, I'll confirm that in a video um, a bit later on anyway um, that's all I've got for you today so please like subscribe leave your comments don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of new videos thank you to all of my new subscribers and my old subscribers the channel continues to grow I'll hit 500 subs now I cannot believe that that the, the channel after I close my original channel to get back to 500 subscribers with a new channel I'm really uh, I can't thank you enough I really can't um, so there you go, uh, another video done, and um, I'll see you on the X on Tuesday. Um, I, I really can, really cannot wait to plug that console in. Um, take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.